Hi everyone, this is James. I have a new video for you. It's called Rapture the Great Day. And currently I'm recording this video. It is December the 14th, 2023. So let me begin. Now here is a screenshot from RenewedMoon.com and currently they are looking for the sliver of the moon and it is expected to be today, but that is up to God, okay? So right now you see it's pending and previous sighting was 29 days ago. So that is interesting and I want to show you something. At the beginning of the renewed moons, you shall blow the trumpets. Now that could be very appropriate, okay? We are at a time that the rapture could be any time in the tribulation of Jacob's trouble starting. And now here is a screenshot from the Torah calendar, and we're looking at right here, December the 15th, 2023. Now, if they spot the sliver of the moon, then I believe that this would be correct, as the Torah calendar states, month 10 in the first day. And then the second day, and then the third day, so the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Now, I think we're in the highest watch time possible. Now, in the next slides to come, you're gonna see why I'm saying that. But again, you know, we do not know the day of the hour, but I believe the Lord has shown us the season. So I'm gonna continue. Actually, one thing I wanna mention. Now, 10 is usually contributed to a Gentile number. Okay, and also could mean completion. And 15 means rest. And today it's the 14th. That means salvation. 16 means love. 17 means victory. And of course, 1, 2, 3. I've talked about it many times. That that is in the beginning of God's fingerprint. Also known as a Fibonacci golden spiral, golden sequence. But God allowed Fibonacci to discover it. But God's fingerprint is all throughout nature. And it's even on the palm of your hand, right on your fingertip. God's fingerprint is there, that God's golden spiral, okay? So it's very interesting times we're living in right now. So let me continue. I got more to show you. Now, this is John chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. I'm just going to actually highlight, okay, the first verse, John 2, the first verse. The third day is when the wedding at Cana took place. Okay, and again, I think that this is possibly a model of the rapture to, that would happen in the future, like a type of rapture scenario. So let me show you how this might line up. So third day, so you get one, two, three, the third day could possibly, and that matches up with the eighth day, okay? And in a, in a few slides, I'm going to show you why that could be significant okay and also you got two and three firkins apiece and let me not forget six water pots too so go back here so that's the sixth day two three again possibly you know it might seem like i'm stretching but it, it is possible and but the john chapter two verses eight this is what I really believe that is a type of a rapture. Okay, let me read it for you. John chapter 2, verses 8. And he saith unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. It sounds like when we receive our new body, you know, we are taken out of this world. Now, water is contributed to nations and peoples. Okay, so the Lord is drawing us out and taking it taken us to be with him you know forevermore and then come back in the millennium after the tribulation ends okay so again if this is the great day the eighth day okay that would be december the 17th 16th 17th and that would line up on the third day possibly so that is pretty amazing. You know, it is 
it is possible the Lord is hinting through a scripture. I really believe that the Lord would do that. And if you do not believe that, if you take a look at the scripture, Proverbs chapter 25, verses 2, you're going to see that the Lord hides things and he expects us to find it. Okay. Now I'm paraphrasing, but take a look at that verse. So that. That is something that I believe the Lord is doing. And also in the scriptures, in Daniel, it says that the word is sealed up. Okay. So it is very possible that the word now we're living it in is unsealed. I really believe that it is unsealed. That we can, we have more technology and more information than any people in history and is allowing us to discover, I believe, the footprints right to the end. Okay, the breadcrumbs right to the end. So I really think they were close. And, um, you know, it's absolutely, you know, we are uh, very lucky to be in this generation you know, if you're a believer, especially. So, you know, I, I just appreciate being part of of this time. You know, I, God is so good. He loves us. And we were put here for a reason. I really believe that. All, all believers. You know, so we got to share the gospel and uh, keep on telling people that the rapture is going to happen. And if they miss a rapture, they're going to have to endure a tribulation and not take the mark of the beast and we're, or not worship the beast or follow him. So, or the false prophet either. So let me continue. I got some more to show you. Now, I want to share with you John chapter 7, verses 37 through 38. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, as you, you see, as you can see, there is a really a water theme. And, and the rest of the slides, most of the slides I'm going to share with you are going to have some connection with water and you're going to see why that is significant i believe now this is from concordance this is the word that was used this is a greek word and it's identified with g1859 and it's called herote i think is how you pronounce that and it is a feast day or festival now in a moment you're going to see why that could be significant now, if you take a look right here, this is a screenshot I took from Google, December the 15th, 2023, in the Gregorian calendar. That is 3 Tevet 5784. That is the fourth month in the civil calendar, 10th month in the religious calendar. And I just took a little snippet from Chabad.org. And they're thinking that Friday, December the 15th, 2023, Tibet three there it could be possibly ahead uh, obviously and even this year might even we might not mean the year I'm not sure but 5784 the eighth day they're thinking that the 15th is the eighth day of Hanukkah is also known as Zot Hanukkah okay this is Hanukkah after key phrase in the special Hanukkah Torah reading for this day but anyway it is, you know, Hanukkah, the eighth day is what they believed. Okay. Now, Hanukkah is a festival. So, it is, you know, a feast. You know, this is eighth day. So, it would be a feast day. So, maybe the Lord is pointing. I'll go back here. Maybe the Lord is pointing the great day of the feast. Maybe that's in Hanukkah. And 
in a moment you're going to see why water you know why that is connected i'm going to show you here in a second let me let me show you that now now again i just want to highlight this actually before i continue before i forget november the 13th 2023 that is when the new sliver okay was spotted and to the 15th that's 32 days now 32 means covenant okay now the lord has made covenants with abraham and also he promised noah and us that he would never destroy the world again with water there will never be a uh, a flood to destroy everybody and that's why the rainbow was set in the sky but uh, 32 means covenant now those that are the lords you know jesus you know jesus christ you know children those that are born again you know those that are saved you know are the children of the promise so the the covenant so you know that is possible and i want to show you that the 15th so december 15th tomorrow the moon is in capricornus and i just want to read a little bit about capricornus now let me just start here under its modern boundaries it is bounded by aquila sagittarius microscorpium pisces austrinius and aquarius the constellation is located in an area of sky called the sea or the water so that's interesting you're getting relation to water just like in john okay chapter 17 verses 37 38 the eighth day the feast and you know everybody that comes to him okay you know you check that verse out i'm paraphrasing but water cons consistently of many water related constellations such as aquarius pisces and Eridanus, Eridanus is the smallest constellation in the zodiac. So that is, you know, it makes sense that the Lord would hint to us the time, you know, in the heavens, you know, the signs are in the heavens. You know, I believe the Lord is showing us the story played out right in the heavens so let me continue now again from that time period november 13 2023 to december the 16th 2023 okay that's 33 days now 33 means the word or sorry the meaning connected to 33 is promise okay again we are the children of the promise and again on December the 16th, 2023, we're still in Capricornus. So let me continue. Now here, if you take a look at time and date calendar calculator, and this November 13, 2023, to December the 17th, 2023, that is 34 days, okay? And 17 means victory. And this day, let's go back. Just want to read just want to show you here again the great day so the eighth day i believe could be the great day the the feast the eighth day of the feast when the lord jesus stood up could represent that and again as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water I just, rec I just, oh my goodness, I just, I never noticed this, I never connected it, but the moon, which represents the church, is in the belly of Aquarius at that day, wow, <laughs> Out of the, oh my goodness, is it possible the Lord has told us what, where the moon would be, 
when the eighth day was. And I, I think it's possible. I'm, wow. I don't know what to say. I'm, you know, this is, that's incredible. I, I really think that the Lord has done that deliberately. And look at the phase it's saying it's 0 0.30. Wow. That's all I have to say. Oh, that God is so good and incredible. It, you know, all intelligence originates for him. And he's been planning this for who knows how long from the foundations of the world. So it is possible that he would do this in this manner to glorify him, to raise his name above all, which rightly so. As he is the creator, he, he got, give honor and glory to the creator, our God and Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Yahweh, the great I am. Wow. I, I really think that it could, could be possibly, you know, this could even be after the rapture or time around the rapture. It's possible. I don't know. You know, this, it may be, you know, it could be days, months, maybe a year. I don't know, but I think we're very, very close, especially seeing this. This is incredible. Now I want to talk about Aquarius. Aquarius. Now, let me just read it from the, right here. Aquarius is an equatorial, equatorial constellation of the Zodiacs. I apologize. It's late for me. It's been a long day. Between Capricornus and Pisces, its name is Latin for water carrier or cup carrier. And its old astronomical symbol is this here. Can hardly make it out. A representation of water. Aquarius is one of the oldest of the recognized constellations along with the zodiac, the sun's apparent path. It was one of the 48 constellations. I'm sorry, it was one of the 40 constellations listed by the second century astronomer Platomy. And it remains one of the 88 modern constellations. It is found in the region often called the sea due to its profusion of constellations with watery associations such as Cetus the well, Pisces and, uh, sorry, Pisces the fish and Eridanus the river. Okay, again, just like in, with tied in with Capricornus. Again, another water theme. And again, just, okay, moon, okay, is in the belly of Aquarius. The water barrier, like the water's breaking. It's, it says it could possibly be the eighth day. Could be the eighth day. It also matches with a three. 17 means victory. But again, if the rapture was going to happen soon, it could be the 15th or the 16th. This could be, you know, the Lord has great mercy. You know, you know, those that are left behind, they'll see that the rapture is true. And, you know, I, I'm just, you know, speaking as a man, but they will see that and see that the rapture is true. And that's going to draw people to the Bible, to the Word of God, those that are in the the book of the Lamb, those that are they're going to be saved either, you know, at that point or later in the tribulation, their eyes are going to open and they're going to see that, you know, Jesus Christ, Yeshua is true, the Bible is true, and the Lord, before the destruction, you know, the, the Lord Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, look at Romans 10, 13. If you're left behind, you see the destruction coming, you want to call on the name of the Lord, and the Lord is Jesus Christ. And in Hebrews, Yeshua. 
There's no name higher than that name. So let me continue. Um, like I said, I did not connect that together when I was making this presentation. I put this presentation together today, you know, at kind of a, I just got a, uh, some inspiration to, to put it together. And I wasn't sure if I was even going to, you know, I, there was a point in time I was thinking, well, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. You know, that, that'll be the 15th. But I said, no, I better do it. And I just felt that everything come together so, you know, quickly and everything just flowed, you know. It's just incredible how the Lord works. It's absolutely incredible. If you see Ephesians chapter 2, verses 10, and read that verse and understand it, you'll, you know how that's possible. But I got more to show you, and that makes it even more powerful. The correlation that I think we just saw there. But I was looking at my, one of my watches here, and I just felt that the Lord wanted me to overlay this. And if you take a look here, actually, I'm going to start with this one. This is for the 16th, and this is in Capricornus. And again, I'm using the, I have the moon, you know, in that, in that constellation. And as you can see, there's a triangle here, and you have God's golden spiral. And it, it almost overlays right here in that area. Again, you, you know, it seems that, you know, there's the 16th right there. And, whoops, it is pointing to the 10, which is the fullness of the Gentiles. No, not actually, there's more right here. It's pointing to the 8, 7 and the 8. Which seven means spiritual perfection, spiritual completion, and well, actually, there's it looks like two points here, and then you got to go into the eight. All right, so and it and kind of lined up with the nine. Nine means fruits of the Holy Spirit. Eight means eternity. And again, and not only that. Well, it kind of, you know, again, it's, you know, I just, I just felt the Lord wanted me to, it actually, that tail fits in with that, that pyramid. And if you watch my other videos, you, you would know why that's significant. I'm not really going to get into that right now. I don't think it's important to talk about that right now. But if you take a look for the 17th, well, take a look at this. If you line up, he almost put his head right there and right on that arrow shaft and lining it with a seven, the eight. And it's, it's that, I mean, it's uncanny how that comes, how that kind of fits. And you have the you know, you have the 153, if you read John chapter 21, about the 153 fish that are, you know, caught, the miracle. Um, again, I'm just paraphrasing part of it, but take a look at that in your Bible. Um, but again, is it possible that the Lord had me through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, create this clock. And there's things that I'm discovering on this, these watches that I create that I didn't even know I did or understood. Now here's the 33. I'm just going to move this over here. Now the Lord, I think about a few months ago, he told me to put 33 and 35 here. And that would line up with the children of promise if we're taking out the 16th. That's the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And look where the moon is. The moon is on the four. Four means door. 
and I don't know, I think that's absolutely incredible. I don't know what I can say. But now I wanted to mention this one more time. I've I've shared with people in other videos, you know, over the months, last few months about this. This is a message, a decoded from a matrix. I'm not gonna talk about the matrix that I received back May. 25th 2021 but there's two matrices I received I like to call them like a divine download now I know it seems highly unlikely and it seems far-fetched but uh, I, I know it's true I know what I experienced and I've talked about it in a number of videos but I'm not going to get into that right now but back November the 9th 2022 this is when this message here, let me read it. You are at the crossroads of the future. We will meet at the cross with absolute faith. And there is a four here. And I believe that there's a seven in there too. And you get some crosses. But you definitely have a, it's actually, I think it's just a four. But then you, actually there is a seven there. There's a seven right there. That's how I make my sevens. I put a dash through it it's like it i've always did that ever since i was a kid um, but anyway i want to show you something here now this is again a screenshot from time of date calendar calculator put in october the 4th 2023 and that's when we got that uh, mass emergency tech system um, the emergency they're testing it out felt the Lord wanted me to mention that or to keep that and that's October the 4th 2023 to December the 17th 23, 2023 is exactly 74 days that's two months and 13 days there's again ready the beginning of God's fingerprint one two three and if, again I've shared Isaiah 46 10 many many times the Lord declares the end from the beginning okay I'm, I'm paraphrasing like, actually, I'll share that verse with you in a moment in, in the slides to come. But look at this. Cross in simple gematria. The result is 74. Okay, you can't make this up. Jesus in simple gematria equals 74. Menorah, which we're in Hanukkah right now, in simple gematria is 74. There's more, but right now I just kind of, there's more, but, uh, you know, at the moment I feel that's what the Lord wants me to share. But let me continue. Now, again, this is screenshots from the time and date calendar calculator. This is the day that I received the di divine download, the matrix, lack of better words, I guess. May 25th, 2021 to December the 17th, 2023. That's 936 days. And in Strong's Greek, 936, to be king, reign, obtain royal power. Okay. Now, in Strong's Hebrew, 936, to despise. Now, this is like a duality, you know, I believe. Because the 26th, both, both days, I believe that there was a blood, well, there was a blood moon on the 26th. But I also read li after the fact that actually the blood moon was on the 25th and 26th. So let me share with you May 26, 2021 to November, December the 17th. That's 935 days. And look, look at this result. Absolutely mind-blowing. Okay, you've got right here. A sovereign, relatively or figuratively king, okay? Now, the king, our king is King Jesus Christ, the king, king of kings. And then you have Strong's Hebrew 935, to come in, come, go in, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, just amazing. Just phenomenal. 
you know if this comes to fruition you know you know time will tell but again i'm not setting any dates i don't know if the rapture is going to happen but i feel that this is what the lord wants me to share so this is what i'm sharing so let me continue now i want to share isaiah 40 chapter 46 verses 10 declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure you know again i pose the question is the lord declaring the end from the beginning i think it is quite possible that he would do that so let me continue i just got a few more slides and i want to share with you john chapter 3 verses 16 or john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life now let me show you something else now i didn't mention before but you have john 3 16 here and you have rapture here and it goes all the way up you know to where it looks like we're taken out raptured out but you have John 3.16 here. You got 3.16 right here. And you got 153 here. And look, you even got 4.16. Okay, like 46.10 right in that area. But uh, you know, I just want to show you that. I just, you know, I really believe. Well, I know. I know that the Lord is behind the scenes. I, You know, it is through his power you know and through the inspiration of the holy spirit i can't take any credit for what the lord has revealed to me and what what i share you know it's for god's glory and honor jesus christ yeshua yahweh the great i am the alpha and the omega the first and the last jehovah jesus christ our lord and savior yeshua you know you can't get a greater God that loves you so much. There is no other God. There's no one beside him. There's no one greater. And he loves you so much that he's telling, you know, watchmen and women, you know, that the rapture is coming, the tribulation, Jacob's trouble is coming. And what the Lord has given me, I've tried my best to share. You know, and and that's what I've done. You know, I could have done better, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, I'm using what the Lord has given me. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible how the Lord works. You know, I just... I'm just amazed all the time how great our God is and how, you know, how great of God he is to serve. But uh, I just want to finish on this slide. HTTPS colon slash slash zero one one two three five dot net. This is where I store my last videos, you know, how this video and other videos I've done. Uh, in the in the past couple months anyway so if you want to check them out you can go there and in the description under this video i have some important links up to videos that if you want to watch i recommend it and also i'm going to attach a slideshow presentation that's got some very important information that i recommend you watch right to the end it's it's relatively short so I want to thank you very much for watching. God bless you. I love you all. And again, if you are watching this video after the rapture has happened, there still is hope. You still can be saved. If you want to take a look in your Bible, read Daniel, Revelation, the Gospels, Paul's epistles. Read the whole Bible. Trust the Word of God. Trust in God, not in man. And you want to turn to the two witnesses that will come on the scene shortly after. I'm not sure when. But look up Revelation chapter 11, verses 3. They'll talk about the two witnesses. And they'll get the direct truth right from God. So you want to turn to them. There's going to be a lot of deception. 
the, the Antichrist is going to come on the scene shortly after the rapture. And also the false prophet. And they're, you know, they are definitely in the world. And there is many Antichrists. So there's going to be so much deception. So you're going to want to cling to God and call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see destruction. You want to call on him as soon as possible. And, you know, trust in God, not in man. So thank you very much. God bless you. I love you. not hidden there's never been a moment you were forgotten you are not hopeless though you have been broken your innocence stolen I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear There is no distance that cannot be covered over and over. You're not defenseless. I'll be a shelter, I'll be your armor. I hear you whisper.